reach, raise up, and restore. That's True Justice International's mission, and they're fighting human trafficking by working to help survivors heal. North Carolina is 10th in the U.S. for human trafficking, which is a $150 billion industry. Originally called the Pearl Ministry, the organization started in 2011. Anna's house serves as a rehabilitation home for survivors, where women 18 and older can stay for up to two years. They are provided everything that they need um, for them, of course, free of charge. Um, and they, um, we really want them to work on the trauma that they've experienced. Anna's house was named after a volunteer who passed away from cancer a few years back. Her naming's full of grace, which is what Klein believes fills the house. And the organization takes a holistic approach to healing, using counseling and other life skills. Because survivors can't work in early stages of rehabilitation, they're given projects. The Pearl Project allows survivors to make jewelry and sell it. The reason why we call it the Pearl, as I mentioned earlier, we were found, we originally started as the Pearl Ministry. Mm -hmm. But we talk about the Pearl of Great Price and how the merchant left, you know, sold everything he had looking for that one perfect, precious pearl. And um, we tell the girls that they are that Pearl of Great Price. Aside from jewelry, they make bath scrubs and other items as well. All of the money goes back into the organization. This year, True Justice International helped 32 women and one male get their lives back. Klein has advice for people wanting to help. If you see somebody by themselves and it looks like a bad situation, you can, you know, it's important just maybe you could talk to them and just ask them, are you safe? Do you feel safe? In Newburn, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.